Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Blender's build modifier to make a cool beam down effect like you see in those sci-fi shows on TV. Now before we get started I just wanted to uh, show you some cool new things on form.nistic.com where you can go to receive support for these tutorials to ask any questions you have to show off your renders or anything else. So last night I added uh, a little feature here. If you go to the little header here and click on Blender Tutorials, and wait a second, you'll be prompted with all these players with uh, what looks familiar from the tutorials on YouTube. Well, these are actually the exact same tutorials on YouTube but they're way better quality. These are actually the um, original files that just have been converted into another file type and they haven't been compressed or uh, in any way. And so they're a lot better quality and everything's way more easier to see than the YouTube tutorials. So if you have DSL or cable um, or a fairly uh, high-speed internet, quote-unquote, um, I suggest you go to form.nistic.com, click on the Blender Tutorials link here, and you can check out the latest tutorials or older tutorials. We have um, most of them here, all the way from editing to the latest one, which is making grass with particles. And you can just uh, view the tutorials in a higher quality than the YouTube because YouTube quality is not that great. Okay, so let's get started on our Blend tutorial today. So I have Blender open and we have our default cube. Now today we are going to use our default cube, so hip hip hooray. So I'm going to hit Alt and then left mouse button to kind of drag and get a better view of the cube here. And we're going to go down here to our toolbar and add a modifier. Just click the modifier button. And whoops, I missed. Uh, hit the add modifier button. Then we're going to hit build. Now, as you can see, a little menu pops up with all these different options. Start, length, randomize, seed. Um, basically, if you look up here, you can see our cube has disappeared. Oh, no. Well, as I told you in the animation tutorial, Blender is based on a series of keyframes for animation. So our current frame is 1, and it starts on 1. And the length of the build sequence, um, where it basically just shows you uh, faces, is 100 frames long. So, to make our effect not so uh, long because it's going to last a few seconds if we had it at 100 frames, we're going to put it at 20 to make a short little uh, build sequence. Uh, start at 1, one is fine. And we're just going to go up here, look in the middle where our cube was, and hit Alt A. As you can see, the faces just start to appear there. So hit space to stop the animation. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit tab, hit W, subdivide W, subdivide, and just hit it a couple times. You don't want to hit it too many times, but uh, make it kind of look like mine with a bunch of faces there. And so we're going to get out of edit mode with tab. And if you do that again, all A, whoops, we have to start down here at zero, I just click on that, hit zero, and it automatically goes to frame number one. And as you can see, there's only a small portion. So if we hit A, as you can see, just kind of appears, comes back together. But that doesn't give us our desired effect of it kind of like re atomizing or whatever you want to call that. Uh, so what we're going to do is go down to the build modifier menu and hit randomize. Now as soon as we do that, you can see where 
our cube is that there's random faces selected and if we hit Alt A it looks like it's coming back together hit escape Alt A this looks like our cube is coming back together and so you can play with this you don't have to limit to um, the build modifier to just a cube you can make a character and if you're making an animation you could use this build effect to look like he's being beamed down to the plant surface or something like that um, you can the more faces you add with the subdivide the better the effect looks but you don't want to hit subdivide too many times because blender will crash if you have too many subdivides so you have to be careful with that so this is just a fun little uh modifier in blender and i hope you uh, just play around with it maybe use it in an animation you might make and just have fun with it so don't forget to go to forum.nistic.com for support a lot of people are messaging me on nistic and on youtube for help with their uh... projects i really don't have time to be helping everyone with their uh... blender projects so just go to forum.nistic.com and people will be happy to help you there and also one more thing i'm releasing a blender dvd on making a character in blender and it's going to be two to three hours, twenty bucks, and it's going to be released in, two, in one or two months, and it's going to be really fun. So if you're interested in that, just send me a message. That's uh, one thing you can send me a message about um, if you're interested in the DVD. So, okay, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and this is Super 3 Boy signing out. Bye.